Mode set. Executing. What's up gamers, it's your boy CD Rhyme 1019 welcome to Sonic and the Black Knight. Really excited to bring this one to you. This is the direct sequel to Sonic and the Secret Rings. It uses a very similar um, uh, engine and gameplay type, but Sonic's got a sword now, and there's waggle tech, and the control scheme's different, we get to use a nunchuck to control Sonic, so it's a little easier to move back and forth. Uh, pretty, not a bad game at all, um, wasn't universally well received, but I enjoy it all the same. Uh, what we're gonna find out though is that this game is a little lighter on main content. The world record for this game, uh, skipping all the cutscenes and the credits, currently stands at about 30 minutes. We're not going for that. Uh, we're gonna get a few episodes out of this. We're gonna be watching the cutscenes and stuff. Um, but I'm also not gonna go out of my way to do a lot of the side content either. So, should be a pretty light, uh, light, uh, playthrough. Uh, and I'm excited. Let's name this file. I'm just going to give it a dummy name. I don't really care. Whoop. Ah! Okay. Alright. The world of uh, the medieval times in King Arthur and all that jazz is in trouble. Let's get going. Where am I? Being from a distant world... Forgive my abrupt summons. stuff like this. <gasps> I shall give chase. Spread out and go after them. Slay them on sight. Ha. Let's go. Ma. 
Must we? She is the royal wizard, after all. The king's orders are absolute Yes, gold. but... Without loyalty to the king, we are nothing. Still, the king... He has changed. And this kingdom... Why'd you stop me? I could have taken him down, no problem. You do not understand. He cannot be wounded. How can that be? He bears the scabbard of Excalibur. Hey, wait a second. I think I've heard that name before. Um, let me see. Excalibur is King Arthur's sword. Oh, yeah, right! So that means... This is the land ruled by King Arthur. Whoa! But was that really the king himself? I mean, he seemed way different in the stories. Let us go. We can talk along the way. Let me introduce myself. I am Merlina the Wizard. I'm Sonic. Sonic the Hedgehog. And so it begins. So Merlina has summoned Sonic to this world uh, due to some sort of corruption with uh, King Arthur. And we're right into the thick of it. So we've got these apples here. They're going to do absolutely nothing for us right now. But they're there in place of uh, the pearls in that from Sonic and the Secret Rings. And the game's given us a little um, crash course on uh, what the buttons do. So there's no charge jump this time, and uh, jump dashing makes way more sense. It's on the A button. Sonic's got some sweet, pretty sweet moves with his sword. I could... I don't have to hit these, but um, I'm, I am, so I might as well. Alright, first mission down. No medals in this game, instead we just have a star ranking. And there's a uh, little identification screen for the item codex. Doesn't really do a whole lot, but it's just kind of fun to do. He was once a wise and just ruler. He was blessed with noble knights and praised by all. However... He got a little sidetracked? Yes. Nimue, the Lady of the Lake. Gave him Excalibur. He was bewitched by the power of immortality its scabbard bestowed. He became immortal, summoning legions from the underworld. He is plunging his kingdom into a world of horror and chaos. You mean like a big old haunted house? <laughs> this will be cool! It'll be like Halloween all year long! Maybe so, but I fear there will be nobody left to enjoy it. We must act now! You mean take out King Arthur? What about the immortal thing? Beyond this misty lake sleeps a sacred sword. With that sword... Yeah, yeah, I'll go get it. Be back in a flash! Wait, Sonic! Good luck. All right, so Merlina has given us a shiny piece of armor. Well, maybe not so shiny, but uh, we can go to the Misty Lake and retrieve this sleeping sacred sword. All right, here we go. So we've got these uh, these fairies. The yellow fairies give us more rings. 
the red fairies will increase our soul gauge, which we don't have access to quite yet. It'll come into play shortly. Oop. Grinding's a little more automatic in this game. Whoop. Whoopsie. <laughs> I'll get my bearings on this game. Whoopsie. I tried to do that too. Careful what you wish for, Sonic. Get a few more of these fairies, because I think we got a boss coming up here. <laughs> Very well. Why don't I prepare something a little more challenging? Behold, the ruler of this lake, the Mist Dragon. All right, now we're gonna fight this Mist Dragon. Oh, excuse me, sir. I'm trying to hit you. Got in a guard there right on time. I want to hit people with um with that spinning slash as often as I can. Because that's, uh, that's a good way to get a lot of uh, hits in at once. Whoopsie. Come on. There we go. That was amazing. Defeating the Mist Dragon like it was nothing. The mark of a true knight. All right. And that's the last we'll see of this rusty old sword. Okay, and first boss fight already. Here we go. This must be it. Are you ready? Ready for what? If you remove that sword and defeat King Arthur with it, you shall forever be the worst of knights, slayer of kings. Guess I can't be the hero every time. <laughs> the sacred sword. It goes by the name Caliburn. It's kind of sorry looking. Fool! <laughs> you are the chosen one. You are but a squire. Oh yeah? Says you. The sword has a mind of its own. It selects its bear. Yeah, well, it's got a pretty smart mouth on it for a sword. <laughs> the impertinent one is you, knave. Brace yourself, or I shall train you until you are worthy. All right, Professor. Work your magic. All right, we have claimed Caliburn. Which appears to be sentient and has chosen us. And first taste of boss fighting with uh, with King Arthur here. We have to swing when he charges his sword. And then jump. And we gotta do this a couple more times. Whoopsie. Come on. Those speedrunners make it look very easy. Now 
And there we go. Looks like King Arthur got a little careless. This could go on forever. You sure you're a sacred sword? It is you, sir, who lacks the proper fighting skills. <laughs> A fool of a knight, not even worth slaying. Do you see? He thinks so too. Well, it's your fault. You're a sad excuse for a teacher. <laughs> for as long as he bears that scabbard, we may never be able to defeat King Arthur. So what are we gonna do? We must ask the scabbard's former owner how to hinder its power. And who would that be? Nimue, the Lady of the Lake, the one I mentioned earlier. What are we waiting for? Let's go pay her a little visit. I fear it may not be as simple as that. What do you mean? You shall see for yourself. Onward, my young knave. Stop calling me knave! I'm Sonic the Hedgehog! Very well then, I shall call you Knave the Hedgehog. Whatever, you oversized letter opener. So, Sonic and Caliburn don't appear to be on uh, the same page right now. Hopefully, uh, we'll get that together. Um, let's see. So, we have not unlocked a new area. Okay. So, special challenge, wield the sacred sword. We need to go find the Lady of the Lake. But, we're probably not there yet. Yeah, yeah, I'm not really going for All right, that's that mission. Proficiency increased. Hmm. I suppose something must be done about this. What are you talking about? My edge has grown blunt. Being in that rock for so long has taken its toll. Ha! Not the sharpest tool in the shed, huh? That's because a gentleman shouldn't have such an edge. Gentleman? Who are you calling gentleman? Seek out the blacksmith in the castle town. I must be presentable when we meet the Lady of the Lake. What are you gonna do, Merlina? Merlina? Hello? Why do flowers bloom, knowing they are destined to wither? Huh? Their time of beauty is so short-lived. Forgive me, Sonic. But I would be recognized in town. I shall remain behind in hiding. All right. Then I guess it's so long for now. Yes. May your journey be safe. Okay, we have parted ways with Merlina, and it's time for us to seek out the blacksmith in town so that we can uh, sharpen up Caliburn and uh, then go meet the Lady of the Lake. Alright, reach the blacksmith shop. Here we go. Alright, time to find a blacksmith. Something is wrong here. Better be careful. So if you do it right, you can uh, slice through a uh, couple of these enemies on a homing dash, which is really cool. Break some of these barrels for some extra rings. Got that drift stop. Beautiful. Trapped 
on this bridge. No problem. I'll just barrel right through him. Try not to hit the townsfolk. And there's the goal. Just made it. New movie, new background. All right, Soul Surge. The Soul Gauge has been acquired. Hey, Tails! No, it can't be. This is the Smithy, right? It sure is. Welcome, Sir Knight. He is no knight. At least not yet. Says you. What a magnificent sword. I've never seen one that talks before. Oh, it talks all right. I know a fine blade when I see it. I am a blacksmith after all. Great. Think you could sharpen this dull piece of rust? Fool, it is you who is dull. Of course I could. Now, what's the sword's name? Caliber. Hmm? Caliber? Where have I heard that name before? Sorry, but could you speed it up a bit? We're kind of in a hurry. Sure, leave it to me. All right, we've uh, met the blacksmith, and there's new missions available in Camelot Castle. All right. Finish using Soul Surge on the ground. This is going to teach us how to use the Soul Surge. We can also customize uh, the character with equipment. Uh, we don't really have a whole lot. Uh, what do we got? Healing Draught. Ten rings after being defeated. Sure, well, let's turn that on. Why not? Okay. All right, we have a soul gauge now. The game will start getting a little interesting. I think we need to soul surge against ten enemies. The soul surge is uh, that. It'll let us uh, slash into enemies. If we do it right, too, we get what's called a perfect strike as well. And uh, that will uh, hit an enemy without using any of the soul gauge, which is really cool. Like that. Otherwise, we can use it as a, uh... Oh, I did it in the air, so I did that wrong. We could use it as a boost. Alright, that's ten. So now, I'm gonna just barrel through these guys and use the Soul Surge as a boost. Well, the goal's right here anyway, so that's it. New missions in Camelot Castle. <clears throat> Some of these items do stuff too, like that tome made uh, identification easier. Alright, so now we're going to use Soul Surge in the air. So I could do this a little quicker, but as you can see, doing it the way that I've been doing it just now will keep replenishing the soul gauge. Which I might just... I've got... Oh, wow. All right. Oh, alright. I didn't re... <laughs> I forgot that I was doing an in-air mission. Let's uh, do that again. And I think I hit the wrong button. Yep, I did. Hang on. Yes. That's totally my fault. Let's do that again. Alright, here we go.
Okay, one more is needed. Alright, just gonna barrel through these guys since I got all 10. And there we go. Then we can use the Soul Surge as a quick boost. Alright, new area. Okay, to the deep woods. Let's reach the Lady of the Lake. Gonna hitch a ride on this uh, wagon. I'm gonna need to swing at these when uh, when they jump towards the wagon. Looks like we're going a little off-road here. And they're going to keep respawning out from the air. Alright, we're on the ground. Whoop. Yes. Gonna soul surge past a bunch of this stuff here. Oop! Talk to this guy right here. Gonna give him a few rings. There you go. There you go, pal. And he gives us a gift in return. Oop, that's a mimic. All right, there we go. And there's our goal. <clears throat> All right, proficiency increased. Bunch of stuff. Okay. New mission. All right, first... Uh, Real boss fights or Lancelot. Let's see if we can make quick work of him. Apprentice Knight, enemy of my king. Who the heck are you? Shadow? I am Lancelot, Knight of the Round Table. I challenge you to a duel. Some things never change. What do you mean by that? Ah, uh, nothing. It's just that he looks like trouble. What shall it be? Will you abandon your sword and flee? Sounds good to me! Fool! A knight never flees a foe. May I have your name, Apprentice Knight? He is named the Hedgehog, and he accepts your challenge. Hey, wait just a second here! Very well then. Brace yourself, Knave the Hedgehog. Alright, so Caliburn has answered for us, and we have accepted a challenge from Sir Lancelot, who seems to backhand his sword. We can get a bunch of quick swings on him with the with the uh, jump dash swing. Whoop, alright. I tried to be ready for that, and I guess I wasn't, but there we go. <laughs> He's down. Alright, got a bunch of stuff for that. Wow. So he was one of the knights of the round table? The mightiest of all, and the closest to King Arthur. It was mere luck that enabled you to defeat him. If you say so. But why did you not deal him the final blow? 
Huh? Such sympathy is an insult to a knight. <laughs> What's the big deal? Besides, I got this, didn't I? That is Arundite, one of the sacred swords of this land. Take good care of it. No problem. We're here. I've been waiting for you, knight from another world. Whoa! Fool, where are you going? But that's... You are being rude to the lady of the lake. Bow your head! I think I know why you're here. It's about Excalibur, isn't it? Yeah, that's right! You don't waste any time, lady. Show some respect. I'll tell you how to hinder the scabbard's power of immortality. I'm the one who gave it to him, so it's kind of my fault, see? But still... Still what? Whoever defeats King Arthur and takes his scabbard might end up turning out the same way, right? I see. So, I have three tests for you. Would you like to hear them? Sure, fire away! First, free the innocents from King Arthur's dungeon. Second, offer compassion to those in need. Third, Defeat King Arthur's Knights of the Underworld. You have three days. Good luck. I get it. She's only going to tell the secret to a true knight. Are you up to the task? This will not be easy. Ha! I'm the world's fastest hedgehog. Check it out. You'll be calling me sir before you know it. Okay, the Lady of the Lake has given us uh, some trials, uh, and we have already uh, taken down Sir Lancelot and claimed his sword. There's also a new area in the Camelot Castle. I don't think we're ready to go there yet. I think we need to uh, give do this mission about giving rings, and then the mission, the Rampage mission. Uh, those I think those count to uh, the Lady's Find tasks. Gonna have to back up in a second. Come on. Alright, let's back up and give these rings to the townspeople. Quick time event. Okay, that's three. We gotta do three more. Or nope, one more. I think there was a fairy bonus there. Yep, very good. There's gonna be one more near the end of this level. I just need to make sure I don't take any damage so I can give him the rings. Whoop, harmed a, harmed a, a villager. Might skip some of these enemies here. Oh, forgot that that could happen. All right, there we go. All right, why not? I got a couple of extra rings here. You want some? Oh, did it wrong. Oh, well. <laughs> All right, there we go. That's the mission. Let's go on a rampage, defeat 50 enemies.
All right, there's gonna be more. <laughs> Okay, ten more left. Four more left. All right, that's over fifty. Gonna try and boost to the finish a few times here. Excuse me. They melt like butter. <laughs> there we go. All right, we've ranked up. New titles, perfect guard skill acquired. Whoop, hang on. Well, can't uh, do everything here. So I'm going to have to be a little choosy here. No. Okay. <clears throat> All right. And then... Yeah, i got a little more time here. Let's do... Oh, okay. Let's rescue the townspeople. Well, causing some damage here. Good heavens. Sorry. Gonna just grab these fairies here. Oh, missed that third one. Where are we? Looks like we're on the way. Under the castle. Okay, need to break the gate here to go forward. And that's gonna happen a few times. And that's it! <laughs> we rescue the town people in the sewer, I guess. Ooh, a chili dog. Alright, let's give the townspeople some rings. And we'll probably call that an episode. The test is about to begin. Leave it to me. Oop, back up. Okay, that's one. That's two. That's three. Hang on. Is that the goal up there? Oh, nope. There we go. That's the goal, however. And there's more townspeople up here. That's right. Alright. That's 80 rings. Proficiency increased. All right. It's close, but it seems you somehow made it. Too easy. Piece of cake. Do not let it go to your head, fool. What's wrong? <laughs> hey, what's the matter? 
Are you lost or something? <laughs> a great big dragon attacked my village. A dragon? It took my mommy and my daddy and everybody away. You know where the dragon is, kid? It's in the big cave at the bottom of that mountain. All right. I'm on it. Wait, don't tell me you're going off to slay a dragon now. Yes, we are. What of the ladies' tests? You will never make it in time. Yeah, maybe, but I play by my own rules. Remember that. You fool. Hang in there, kiddo. I'll get your folks back. All right, we've unlocked the Titanic plane, and I suppose that's a good place to stop for now, um, given how uh, low on main story content this game is. So when we come back, uh, we're going to try to rescue some townsfolk and look into slaying a dragon. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you check out the rest of the videos on the GSL YouTube channel. Check me out at twitch.tv slash channel and the forums, officialytr.com slash forums for more fun. And until next week, folks, I'll see you then. Take care. Bye-bye.